Hey guys, I wanted to conclude the Prisma series that we did and just talk about a few things that I learned. So the first is I liked TypeScript a lot. So I had been using FlowType before, which is Facebook's version of TypeScript basically. And it's a little bit different because it's not its own language. You kind of just add it on top of JavaScript. Uh, and I didn't like it as much. So when I saw Prisma had a TypeScript version, I wanted to try it out, but I was skeptical and didn't think I would like it as much as I did. And so now I really see myself continuing any type of backend code, uh, writing it in TypeScript over JavaScript uh, in the future now, because I, I enjoyed, like, it worked really well with Visual Studio Code, getting auto-completion was really nice. Um, I also want to look into what it's like with React. Uh, and see if I like it too. So some videos possibly in the future about integrating it with React. I believe there is a Create React app for TypeScript, which I'm going to check out and see uh, if it's also pretty nice and I like it. Because I tried Flow for with React too, and I was not a huge fan. Uh, now the second thing, would I use Prisma in a production uh, environment, right? Would I would consider it for a project? Or if I was starting a project next, would I choose Prisma? Um, I think I saw uh, Prisma being like a really great choice. Uh, I think they 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 did a lot of things right where you can customize and pretty much add anything you want onto it. You don't have to use primarily Prisma, right? You can integrate it with other things. Like you can have a totally another database. You can add caching with Redis. Um, you pretty much have full control of what your server does and you pretty much just have the option to use the Prisma database if you want to. But with that said, I don't think I'll be using it for um, uh, for my next project, but I'm gonna be keeping a very close eye on it. The one thing that, the few things that really are promise breakers for me is I like being able to control how queries are run and being able to tweak things. I think Prisma is really, really great for someone who wants to just get a uh, MVP up quickly, and then uh, they don't they don't want to worry about making fast. Uh, I think Prisma is already optimized, um, but they don't want to worry about optimizing their code and worrying about creating the database tables. And it's really nice that Prisma handles all that stuff for you. Uh, but I think I would prefer ha doing that myself. And I, I like having the ability, if I need to, to just write some SQL if need be. Um, and I think that's important. But I think Prisma, and that's really the one thing that's kind of stopping me. Um, and I feel like there's an, an extra request you have to make, right? Because there's now a Prisma server sitting in between uh, the database. So just those things I'm kind of just like, eh, about. But uh, I definitely think Prisma is still a really good option. And I wouldn't dislike using it in production at all. Uh, I just want to try some other things. I really feel like it takes the place of SQLize, and so what I want to try out is uh, Typeorm. I've been playing around with it with the past few days, uh, and I'm actually really liking it much better than SQLize. I mean, it integrates really well with TypeScript. So I'm going to be doing some videos about this in the future. I think it's really cool. Um, but I honestly, I would recommend Prisma to anyone that wanted to use it. I think it's a really great product. Uh, personally, I'm going to be using, trying out Typeform and probably end up going with that if I were to create a new project, just because I would rather be in control of the database. Um, yeah, so that's with Prisma. I think it's really good. I'm really happy about it, and I want to watch and see what they do with it in the future. And also, they don't have PostgreSQL support, but it's coming very, very soon, so I'm excited about that. So uh, I'm definitely going to check that out, check that out when it comes out. Um, but yeah, so what am I going to be doing next? There was a lot of cool technology that came out while I was doing the Prisma series that I want to touch on. One of such libraries is called Urkel. So this is a library that was created by Ken Wheeler, who's a pretty cool dude, and uh, you can see it's modeled after Urkel here, and it's a GraphQL library. It's basically an alternative to using Apollo Client or Relay, per se. So I want to check this out. I also want to check out Relay. Uh, I've been wanting to do that for a while, so I finally will be getting to that. So lots of cool stuff in the future. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked the series. I'll see you soon.